There are some incredible scenic areas to enjoy around the state of Nebraska. In the western part of the state, the Wildcat Hills is one such area for both its landscapes and, of course, the wildlife. So joining us now with more is Jeff Rollinson with the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. Nice to see you here today. Well, great to be seen. And yes, the Wildcat Hills region of Nebraska, uh, probably one of the most scenic areas in the state. You know, you're hard pressed, you know, between the Wildcat Hills and as you go up further north into the uh, the Pine Ridge area mm -hmm. and the Scarpments and Fort Rob and all that. Just incredible. If you have never been there, Absolutely got to take your family there. Of course, Wildcat Hills, we have a, you know, in the last couple, three years, we have a newly refurbished uh, nature center and visitor center. It is incredible. It's top notch uh, with some of the coolest views off the back of that nature center, I think, in the state. Uh, we have a new shooting sports complex in the last four or five years out there. So all, all these things come together for just in the landscape for just uh, a really cool picturesque feature out there. Plus, out there we have what we uh, coveted bighorn sheep that Nebraskans are very proud of. Yeah, and, uh, and, and but we've had some issues, all right? Unfortunately, 18 of the last 26 vehicle collisions have been in that stretch of highway on 71 uh, since 2009 that goes past the Nature Center there. And so uh, you are Nebraska and Parks Commission and Nebraska Department of Transportation uh, received a $400,000 federal grant here recently to study that area, determine where a, a, uh, a, a pass would be uh, placed that would help uh, bighorns and other wildlife uh, better pass that area without coming into contact. And so the idea, <coughs> excuse me, would be to reduce property damage and certainly wildlife deaths. And unfortunately, the topography or the geography of that area really nestles uh, bighorn sheep right through that, that kind of one area. And of course, with all the increased traffic we see from Denver and, and uh, uh, Rapid City from uh, South Dakota, uh, we really, really a uh, good time to have those, those funds and to do something really cool out there. So uh, we're going to be doing some studying and try to determine where the best location will be for these guys. Uh, but they're just, you know, just a really cool, really cool critter to have in Nebraska and being sure to place something where it connects both of their, their habitats so that they can get up, you know, through the highway without causing problems uh, is going to be going to be mm -hmm. huge for for the bighorn sheep and for Nebraskans who love seeing uh, their bighorn sheep here in the great state. Uh, also, of course, Nebraska does have two bighorn sheep tags every year. One is auctioned off. One is uh, uh, purchased through a, a drawing. And this year, a 15 year old young lady out of uh, uh, Sydney, Nebraska, Kirsten Black and uh, was the recipient of the tag. And uh, she went out with her father on what I would term is the hunt of a lifetime and uh, harvested a world-class uh, bighorn sheep up there in the uh, uh, in their their habitat and uh, the I've seen the picture just a big smile neat kid I can say mom and dad you're raising raising her <laughs> right uh, so that's pretty cool so we're really really proud of, uh, of uh, Kirsten and uh, and the whole black family yeah, and uh, they're incredible incredible harvest here she a bighorn but yeah really cool animal if you've not been up to the, the wildcat hills in that region you really owe it to your family to get up there and see it it's just so cool and of course there's picnic areas there's camping areas up there as well but the nature center the the, um, the shooting sports complex and the wildlife of the area are a big draw yes yeah. yes one of those areas that makes you go wow it, you know, it does when, when it you, takes like, your breath what? away wow i can't believe it, that's it, here it really does you get on the back of the nature center and you're looking out just over those big beautiful canyons yeah and uh it yeah takes your breath away mm -hmm. do we mm -hmm. have quite a few bighorn sheep in the state uh we do we uh, not quite a few we have small pockets in okay. that in, in some of those regions uh the wildcat hills region and then of course you go up to that uh, fort rob and then the pine ridge area up there so small pockets so yes uh, we have good good populations uh we, 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 they deal with everything from disease to obviously vehicle mm -hmm. collisions. So there's obviously uh, some some impacts to those populations that our wildlife biologists uh, have to, to have to deal with on an annual basis. But uh, a lot of research goes into that in placing, reintroducing the bighorn mm -hmm. sheep mm -hmm. in Nebraska. And our biologists did an incredible job of locating, finding, and bringing them to Nebraska. And uh, pretty cool to have those populations. Yeah, here. Mm -hmm. they're fascinating. Mm -hmm. They really watch. are. Cool yeah. critter. Jeff, thanks. Thank you.